Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Noblesse. This is an anime series based on Korean source material. There are two other anime series like this. They were The God of High School and Tower of God. However, while those two anime series got very popular and well liked, Noblesse was seen as an average anime series that most people simply don't care for. When was the last time you heard someone even talk about the series? I was curious to see why it was so unpopular in comparison to Tower of God and The God of High School. You do have to watch the OVA, by the way, before watching this anime series, or you'd be left confused. In this anime series, the protagonist Raizo, also known as Rai, is a noble that has the title of Noblesse. A noble is a being with special abilities and a long lifespan. Raizo stands apart from all the other nobles, as he has the title of Noblesse. He watches over the noble with the title of Lord and judges them. If he thinks they're out of line, he will take action. The noble of the title of Lord is basically the leader of the nobles. Throughout the show, people are curious about his awakening, and they investigate, while other people think he's a traitor and must be eliminated. Right away, I could see why this anime series didn't become popular. The plot and tension of the fight scenes are lacking. So what made Tower of God so good? It was because it had strong competitors that were around the same level in terms of combat, competing to reach the top of the tower. Their intense battles throughout. What made the God of High School so good? It was great because it had powerful characters using their special martial arts techniques to defeat each other. They're all strong characters. The main character did not simply win his battles easily. There was drama and tension to the fight scenes. Overall, it was a level playing field in those two anime series. In Noblesse, Raizo is all powerful, and there is no tension at all. I have watched many anime series with overpowered characters, but Raizo stands above the rest in terms of being overpowered. No one stands a chance against him. He can end the fight right away if he went full power. It makes the battles feel pointless because no one stands a chance against him. There is no tension to the show. This is especially bad because it makes the other battles feel meaningless. You see the other characters giving it their all during a fight. But does it really matter? You know Rise will just step in and save everyone easily anyway. At least with Saitama for One Punch Man, he was fun and entertaining to watch. Raizo is a crudier character and shows no emotions. He doesn't make a fool out of his opponents. He just beats them. It's just boring to watch. One Punch Man will also make you emotionally invested in other characters, besides Saitama, because the anime series spends much time building up the villains, to a point where Saitama barely gets any screen time. As a result, you care about a villain such as Garo. He isn't just a character that is weaker than Saitama. Noblesse simply doesn't have that same emotional impact with characters. Not to mention, the plot in this anime series seems boring to watch. The first major arc is just people investigating the coffin that Raizo was in. People are wondering, what was going on with the coffin? The arc doesn't really lead to anything exciting. It was villains eventually facing off against Raizo, and he beats them easily. Then the second major arc was that there are nobles that see Raizo as a traitor and wanted to punish him for his crimes. Am I supposed to care? We all know Raizo will beat them easily, and that's exactly what happened. We did get to learn about some of Raizo's past, and how the other nobles viewed him, but I wouldn't call it exciting. The plot wasn't exciting to begin with, but Raizo being overpowered and showing no emotions is what made it even more boring to watch. In terms of the characters, it should be obvious how I feel about Raizo. He is this boring Kudir character that can do no wrong, and is seen as perfect. It's boring seeing a perfect character with no charisma or entertaining personality. I like the character of Frankenstein because of his dedication to Raizo and seem to overreact to everything. Tashiro was a cool guy that tried his best to protect his friends, despite being just human. Regis is a Sundarite character that tries to act cold, but he knows he cares about his friends. He was okay as a character, he just acted like a typical male Sundarite. Seira is a cool character that shows no emotions. She looks attractive, but her personality is just born to watch. M21 was an entertaining character that had fighting arguments with Regis. Takio was another cool and confident character. I like his relaxed approach to life. He was friendly but still strong as a fighter. The opening song 
And to ending the song for this anime series were good. The music that played during the songs was pretty catchy. The music for this anime series was decent, but just didn't get you that excited to watch a fight scene. The animation style and the animation looked good though. With the main character being all powerful, it ruins the potential for intense fight scenes, and even ruins the plot a bit. Though the arcs in this anime series weren't that exciting, even if the protagonist wasn't all powerful. This anime just felt like one long prologue. I give this anime series a 5 out of 10. So that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.